Yo, what's up everybody? We're back to Terra Troid, and today I've got some crazy plans. First off, let's go down into the caves, and second off, I want to go down into the caves for a specific reason. I want to find some power-ups. Raven me! Get down! Ooh, a goodie bag. That's right, I'm playing this during the Halloween season. That means that we're going to get some goodie bags with some interesting outfits in them. Like, I can dress up as a pumpkin. Now, isn't that just funny? Now, what are we looking for today? We're looking for Chozite bars and Chozite ingots, as well as a few important upgrades in order to survive the harsh environments. This will give us a chance to flex some of our cool abilities, like the use of the power beam. And now with the double jump, we can actually get up to the demon altar. I didn't want to break my way over here because I felt like this was the perfect way to show off the Morph Ball. See, with the Morph Ball, you can get through these smaller holes. Yo, there are tons of gems here. It's so quick to dig around with the Morph Ball, but sometimes you're still going to need to dig around with the Sapphire. With the Sapphire? With the Pickaxe. Speaking of which, we actually have access to the Grappling Beam, which allows me to, well, grapple to objects. Get back! Uh-oh. You've got to be careful down here. Luckily, we can make a lot of distance away from things with several upgrades. Ooh, I almost got crushed by a boulder. This isn't an upgrade. But, there's some iron skin potions. Pretty nice loot. Okay, and this was the cave we explored before, but not as much as the last cave. Well, we'll drop back down into the depths below. The Morph Ball is really nice to get around with, because you actually don't take any fall damage while in a Morph Ball. See? I fell so far and I didn't take a single point of damage. The Grapple Beam is also extremely useful to get around. As you can see, it allows you to pull yourself quickly to positions that you wouldn't otherwise be able to reach. Oh! Oh! A Desgiga! Desgiga are scary. They're like a side hopper, but they have way more stats. Hey, are you enjoying the video so far? If you are, be sure to click that subscribe button. Less than 30% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, and it, uh, it would help me out a lot, mentally. Up here, and down here, and... Luckily, I'm in this nice hole because of the morph ball. But if I wasn't, this guy could actually mess me up. And bam, easily done. Now, sadly, the bombs don't actually blow up any blocks, but it can be used as a light source and to boost me. You can even use it to infinite bomb jump, just like in Metroid. Oh, this is the trap that got me before. Oh! I'm gonna have to be careful down here. I'm not invincible by any means, and we're gonna head further down this cave here. Oh, what's this? Just hidden down here in the caves, we find ourselves another Chozo statue, this time with the Wave Beam! Now what the Wave Beam is, is it's a beam that goes in your utility slot. It allows you to shoot through walls by a small bit. It doesn't let you shoot all the way through walls. I'm guessing that was a balancing decision. But, it's still super helpful. Now let's gather up some of the Chozite from the statue here. Oh, look at this! I'm gonna blast through here with my newfound wave beam. It even lets me check through caves without having to actually go in the rooms. So I can check around for cool loot. And speaking of cool loot, there's our band of regeneration. Blast through there, blast through here. I see a cave over there with a missile tank. Now here's one of those uses of the Morph Ball Drill. You can actually make your own Morph Ball Tunnels and expand existing natural Morph Ball Tunnels. So now we have a Morph Ball Tunnel that leads over to this cave here where we can get more missile expansions. These are going to be so useful later on. Let me dig myself a path up. And now that I've dug myself up a nice path, let's build a platform here and then Infinite bomb jump into the hole. 
Give me this hard crystal. Hmm, very useful. And I'll even take this piranha statue. What do we got over here? Hmm? You can even use bombs to kind of boost yourself across places. Ooh, another treasure in a nice small treasure house here. And a chest statue. Ooh, a cloud in a bottle. That'll give us another extra jump. Oh, side hopper alert. Nerd alert. Nerd dead. I'm gathering up quite a bit of loot, but I don't want to stop now because I've explored so much. There's a glowing mushroom biome over there. I'm going to check that out here in a moment. Now there's a gamer. Gamers are kind of more versatile than a side hopper. Because with a side hopper, you can defeat them simply by grappling to a ceiling. A glowing mushroom island. Or mushroom biome, I should say. Glowing mushroom biomes are pretty nice. They have lots of hidden materials in them. And often hidden loot. But they come with their own fair share of baddies as well. Most of them are in hard mode. We're gonna have to watch out for that later. This one seems like a bust. Not really too much of importance here. Now I bet you didn't know this, but you can actually hold down while grappling at a floor and it'll launch you upwards. It's one of those nice little secrets that makes it so you don't really need a double jump this much. I'm gonna grab up all these sapphires and amethyst here. More stuff. I want all the stuff. If I ever ask you if you want stuff, never say yes. I'm a tricksy fellow and I have my tricks. Just a little bit of Chosite ore. And look at this. That's a lot of Chosite ore. Let's drill all of this up with the Morph Ball drill. The Morph Ball drill makes it so efficient to dig around underground. We got another hidden rail system underground. And speaking of hidden things, let me put this torch down, because we've got a hidden missile expansion. Why would I even bother to use the grappling hook whenever I have so many jumps? Well, because it feels more stable and natural to me. See, in the original Metroid games, you don't really get to use the grapple beam as much, with the exception of one notable Metroid game where you use it a whole lot to move around faster. And this game is just the same. You don't need to use it, but you kind of want to use it because it's fun. Now, here's a fun fact. The Morph Ball button, R, is actually the same button that, that puts you on rails and rails take priority, so I can't actually mine this stuff without getting rid of the rails around it first, unless I use a pickaxe. So in that way, the morph ball drill is a little bit weaker. It's faster, but its downside is that around rails it's much worse. Ooh, there's two missile tanks in there. The wave beam is so helpful. Into the secret missile pocket. Ooh, and that's two free missile expansions. And all I had to do was do some shooting around, and then a little bit of exploring with the Morph Ball Drill. It's kind of like actual Metroid in that way. It's like playing a sort of Metroid game for the first time. Sure, the world isn't coherent or anything, but I mean, my world's never gonna change. Ow! It's so easy to forget that I don't have my suit. I mean, I say it's easy to forget, but it's actually pretty hard to forget with how much damage I'm taking. A web chest! Ooh! Loot! Including a suspicious looking eye. Look, there's some violas! Legend has it that there's some kind of NPC, there's some kind of character who's trapped in one of these. And so if I can save them, I might get a special reward. And look, some more Chozite. Oh, there's a big cavern this way. And down here. Oh. Oh, a missile. I totally passed this by in the dark. Grab that. Ooh, a heart crystal. Let's grab that. All right. I'm going to dig myself a little hole instead of fighting that enemy directly. Although I don't prefer to do it this way. This is a one-time one thing because I want to get some more loot. And I want to do it from safety. We've got some shoe spikes. Shoe spikes are a better power grip in pretty much every way because they let you grab walls instead of ledges. However, I like the power grip because it kind of lets you grab things that are higher than maybe your shoe spikes would let you grab onto. 
Another strange plant. I've been collecting all sorts of strange plants. Uh, I'm running out of things to throw away. So much loot, but so little space. Ooh, another heart con container crystal. Bing, and going down a uh, rail. Ooh, loot on a rail. Loot on a rail. It's not so useful to me, but it's loot on a rail, a rail. It's loot on a rail for me. It's loot on a rail. It's loot on a rail. A rail. I don't need these. Such efficiency. Such usefulness. Art crystal. And some more Chozai. And look. Another heart crystal. Oh. Oh, it's just another charge beam. I'm finding plenty of heart crystals now, but not missile tanks. I have 11 missile tanks that I can't even use. It's like a randomizer for Metroid Fusion. And heart crystal. Oh, how nice it would be to have a power-up that would let me use the morph ball on the ceiling, though. Uh, one can only dream. Oh, that's a lot of emeralds. I might grab those for a special project later on. Oh, but again, what do I get rid of? So many things! Look, another heart crystal. Of course, you couldn't see that one because it was... Oh, I'm already done with heart crystals. Oh, well, what do I throw away then? Ah! Oh, the speed. Is that a gravity potion? This will let me temporarily reverse gravity. Oh, but what do I throw away? I want the chest. But if I grab the chest, what do I throw? Oh, wait, another heart crystal. These are still going to be useful for heart lanterns. How are you feeling, Xander, in the future? Keep your chin up, King. Or come back and watch this video. Just remember, you're doing great. Whatever it is you're doing in life, unless you're doing something terrible like murder or, I don't know, parking in a no parking zone. Doing something like that, uh, how did how did you get there? Ooh, a loot house and up and in there. Ooh, a coin portal with 10 gold coins. That is a lot of gold and loot. The rest of this doesn't matter to me. Literally doesn't matter. This matters a lot to me. And what? Oh, get rid of them! Ooh, a missile tank. Finally. It's been so long. Ooh, another money portal. Money, 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 money. That's shmoney right there. And speaking of shmoney, the Hermes boots. Let's go. The Hermes boots allow me to run quicker, which is going to help a lot during boss battle encounters and just movement in general. Now, it doesn't give me the speed booster ability, which allows you to run really fast, but it's still super handy. Okay. Another missile tank. This time sitting on a vein of iron. Interesting. A flare gun. I'll grab the flare gun. But what do I throw away? With the copper axe. Oh, the copper axe is bad. I can make a new axe when I get home. What? Huh? Was that missile tank sitting on cobwebs? Oh! What's this? The Chozo statue with bombs. More Chozite bars for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me. I've got the shows I for free. Did I say bars? I meant ore, but ore is just bars that haven't happened yet. Dang, bro, that's deep. No, it's not. Whoa, now that's dangerous. No side hoppers on the tracks. You know the rules. Ooh, a missile tank. Yahoo! Ooh, a gem cave. This one's filled with some of the most valuable gems of all. Diamonds and sapphire. But once again, if I want the diamonds, what do I throw away? What do I throw away? And dig through there, grapple up there, grapple up there, drop a torch, grapple, and 
create myself a little platform to morph ball jump up to. And get myself another missile pack. Oh! We're starting to enter a new area from the underground. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to go in there just yet. But it's nice to know that... Dang, I, I really went far. Oh my goodness! What a travel I've been on. I think it's about time to end my adventure for today, though. Oh, but I'm so greedy. I want more missile tanks. More than anything else. Another missile tank. Let's go. Through this cave, through that cave. Through all of the caves. Through the caves, I'm going through caves. Gotta go through caves. I want to get all of the missile tanks that I can get for the future. For the future. I want to have a high capacity so I do not run out during the boss fight. Missile tank, missile tanks. I want the missile tanks. So I will go through the tanks to get a missile tank. Got some emeralds down. Oh, ah, whoa! Whoa. One of the downsides to the morph ball is that when you fall on a ledge, you kind of just start rolling. All right, let's try to avoid this lava here. I'm not lava resistant or even heat resistant, so I can't be too careful. Oh, another missile tank over there. What do you know? Maybe coming down here wasn't such a bad idea. Get it here. There we go. Oh! Wow, that did so much damage. You really do have to be careful in these underground areas. Ooh, another Chozo statue with just charge beam. Very annoying. Oh, jeez! Oh, no! I dropped so much money! Oh, I got too greedy and I paid the price. This chest here, this is the Chozodian chest of riches. I'm gonna put all of my riches that I got from the adventure in here. Oh my goodness, I'm so rich. Now that I've got all of this Chozite, let me put it together and we're gonna make something quite special. Look at all of the Chozite bars I got. That's so much Chozite. I'm gonna be honest, this fit, I do not rock the fit. I'm gonna put on. That's right. I've got the full Chozo prototype armor. This is the Chozite armor. It allows you to slide down walls, so you can wall jump with these. It also gives you a bit of defense, and it's a material for an even greater item upgrade later on. And the Spacer, I think the Spacer would be our next upgrade. And the only place that I can think to find the Spacer is in the jungle. Before we go anywhere, let me grab some em some topaz, some emeralds, the energy shards, and the chozite bars. We're going to craft together the high jump boots. The high jump boots allow us to increase our, our jump height by a lot. Look at that. All right. And with that, I think that's plenty of progress for today. I got to show off the power beam, upgraded it to the wave beam. I got to show off the morph ball along with the bombs and the drill, which allowed me to dig through plenty of areas. We did so much exploring, got so much of these areas uncovered, but there's still a lot here that can be explored as well, and so much left to explore under the ground. On top of that, we dipped into the jungle just for a moment, but we're gonna find out more of what's in the jungle in the next time. We got a bunch of missile tanks, fully filled out our hit points to 400 out of 400, and got quite a few useful items like the Hermes boots and the high jump boots. We got freaking rich and kind of met a closer call than I think was necessary. But with that, I think it's about time to say goodbye. So goodbye. Bye, and I'll see you next mission.